Your GDScript code doesn't have to look like a Jackson Pollock painting. Cleaner code in the Gano engine is possible by following some basic rules. And cleaner code makes your project easier to maintain, understand, and debug, and you have more time to make your game and more money, hopefully. Here are five tricks to writing better and cleaner GDScript code in the Gato engine. Trick number one. Look, no one likes big blocks of code. They're hard to read, hard to edit. So when you have long lists in arrays, dictionaries, and enumerations, break them across multiple lines. This improves readability and helps you spot errors more quickly. And bonus tip, when listing them vertically, always keep a trailing comma. It makes it easier to add items later on. Trick number two, comments, disabled code, documentation comments. These are all different things. So don't just go adding a bunch of hashtags willy nilly. Comments use a hashtag and a space. Disabled code uses a hashtag and no space and documentation comments use two hashtags and a space. And if you're asking yourself, what the heck are documentation comments? Bonus tip, they exist and you can use them to automatically create documentation for your own scripts. Number three, use white space correctly. Whenever you use an operator like a plus or a minus, use white space around it. Whenever you use a comma, use white space after it. This looks a lot better than this. And don't align your expressions vertically because adjusting for new and longer variables is time wasted. Trick number four, name your stuff the right way. Now there are naming conventions for the Gato engine for nearly everything, but we're just gonna cover the basics. When naming files, use snake case. That is lowercase with underscores between words. When naming classes and nodes, use Pascal case. That is capitalized words with no spaces. Functions and variables use snake case. Signals use snake case and some past tense verb or action. Constants use constant case, which is like snake case, but all uppercase. And enumerations use Pascal case for the name and constant case for any members because they're constants. This makes understanding what you see in code a lot easier. Trick number five, when you have really long lines that are over hundred characters or this line right here, you might want to create a new line, but you can't just press enter because that creates a new expression and your code will literally explode. Instead, wrap the expression in parentheses and indent twice. This will create a multi-line expression and can be a lot easier to read. Thanks for watching and as always keep creating. And if you'd like to learn more tricks before you publish your Gato game, check out this video here.